Okay then, so we have our modal component right now. Let me just delete those main tags. And it looks something like this in the browser. So it looks pretty good. However, this message right here, sign up for offers, this is hard coded in the modal component itself. So it doesn't really make this modal component that reusable because if we want the modal somewhere else, for example, somewhere else in this component, down here, for example, or even in a different component as we expand our website in the future, then it's gonna have the same hard-coded message inside each modal. Now, it would be good if this could be dynamic, and for each modal that we use, we can pass in a different message. So essentially, we want to pass data into a component, and we can do that using what's known as props in Svelte. So how do we do this? How do we pass in data or props into a component? Well, we just declare what props we want to pass in on the component itself where we use it. So for example, I could use a prop called message, but you could call it what you want. You don't have to call it message. And then we set it equal to some kind of value. Now that value could be anything. It could be an integer or it could be a string or an object. I'm gonna use a string. So I'll use double quotes and I'll say, hey, I am a prop value. So now we're saying, okay, when you create this modal component for us, I want you to pass in a prop, a property called message, and this is the value of that message. So then I want to access that prop inside the modal itself. So how do we access it? Well, first of all, we need to declare that we're going to use that variable and it's called message. So I'm gonna say, let message like so. Now we need to say that this can be set from outside of this component, which it is being doing because it's being set in app.svelte. Right here, we set this outside of the component and we pass it in. So to do that, we need to say export before we declare the variable right here. And now we're saying, okay, well, this message variable is gonna come from outside or it can be set from outside of this component. So now what I can do is just say, message right here and it's going to output whatever message is set from outside of the component this right here okay now this variable and this prop name they have to match they have to be the same thing okay and again this export just means that we're passing this in as a prop it's being set from outside of this component so this should all work if i save it we should see that message right here hey i'm a prop value Awesome. Now we can pass this a default value. So I could say default value, but you could be more original. And if we then don't pass this message in as a prop, for example, if I just cut that now and save, then it's gonna use this default value, which we will see. But the minute we pass in a prop with that name message, it overrides that default value and it uses the prop value instead, okay? So let's also pass in is promo as a prop. So again, we need to say export because we're setting this as a prop from outside of the component. We'll save that. The default value is false, but if we then come over here and say, okay, promo or rather is promo is equal to true. And this is inside curly braces because it's a dynamic value, a boolean. This is a string, that's why we don't have it in curly braces. Different types of data, right? So I'm gonna save that, and is promo should now override this and be true. So we should see a red modal over here. Awesome, okay? But if we don't pass that in, if I cut this, then the default value is gonna be false, and we shouldn't see the red background, which we don't. All right, so let me now pass that in again. Save it. And there we go. So that is props. And remember, there's two steps to passing props or data into a component. First of all, we declare any accepted props in the component itself. So up here with an export keyword. And then we pass in the prop to the component where we use it. And the prop name and the variable declaration have to be the same. So now this method of not hard coding the message makes the modal much more reusable because later on we could use the modal again in a different place in the application not necessarily here but somewhere else and this value could be different and this value could be different we could just leave it off like so and if we comment out this one then we have a different version 
of the modal. So now our modal is very, very reusable. The only thing really missing now is being able to toggle this value, show modal to true and false, so we can show and hide this modal, and we'll look at that using event forwarding in the next video.